Today I'm going to be feeding all of my animals and I know that's a very highly requested video so I hope that you guys enjoy it. I do just want to mention that I do not feed all of my animals every single day so this is not a daily routine. Reptiles are fairly low maintenance compared to like mammals so I'm definitely not feeding these guys every single day. I'm going to go over what I'm feeding them and I'll tell you how often I typically feed these guys. So I'm going to be starting off with my large lizards such as my bearded dragon, my blue tongue skink, and my veiled chameleon and bring you guys along and show you what I'm feeding them. So today I'm going to start out by feeding the big lizards. So that's dude the bearded dragon, we have Bamba the veiled chameleon, and then Chancho the blue tongue skink over here. So this is what I'm going to be using today. Um, this is collard greens and mustard greens. Um, this is a quail egg for chancho, the blue tongue skink. Everyone is gonna get a little bit of carrot. This is cantaloupe. And then we have a nice little turkey dinner for chancho, the blue tongue skink. Um, today is actually Thanksgiving, so I thought it was kind of funny to give them turkey. And then we have a ton of rodents thawing out over here along with a reptilink. So let's just get to it. have dude the bearded dragon's little salad over here um, the last thing I have to put on is bee pollen it comes out in this form um, it's like little pebbles so you actually have to grind them up into being a little powder substance and I do that by literally just smashing them with a uh, spoon so I'm gonna do this and then dust it on top of his salad and now that it's mashed up, I can take it and drizzle it on top of his salad. I don't know what it is about this stuff, but bearded dragons just love it. It actually makes them eat their salads, which I know a lot of them can be very picky. So if you guys want to buy some beef pollen, I actually sell it in my Etsy shop. I'll put the link in the description. And for today, I'm going to be using this um, reptile multivitamin. It has D3 in it. I'm going to be using this for everyone. I use this once a month for all of my animals. So I am just going to be drizzling this on top of his salad. That was kind of a little bit too much, but there we go. Chancho's food right here. I'm holding, this is a Reptilink. It's full of like rabbit and vegetables, which is really good for blue tongue skinks. He also has his cat food right here. That's turkey. And then he has some carrots, cantaloupe, um, Swiss, not Swiss chard, um, collard greens and mustard greens. So the nasty part about this is that I literally have to just take it and mash everything together with my fingers because you know that animals are picky and they don't want to eat their greens so I literally just have to mash it all together so that way he ends up eating all of it. So that is this job. And then I take his quail egg and I help him out and I crack it a little bit. If I can, my hands are like super slippery. There we go. And I just set that on top. And he can go for that. And now it's time for his supplementation. So for his supplementation, he's also going to be getting the multivitamin. And his salad is complete. He has the multivitamin and everything he needs. And he is hiding in there. I don't know if you can see his little snoot. But hopefully he'll come out and eat soon. We'll keep an eye on him. Next up is this guy over here. So for his salad, um, I actually give him just the same greens as the others. He has mustard greens and a little bit of collard greens, and he is an insectivore. He can also have some leafy greens as well. This is the way I trick him into eating it. So he has some superworms and dubias in here, and he, again, like everyone else, is going to be getting the multivitamin today. So I'm just going to dust this on top, and he is ready to go.
So I typically feed my larger lizards every couple days. So again, not feeding them every single day. And that just happened to be what I was feeding them today. So I definitely like to give them a lot of variety, different greens, different vegetables, and occasionally some random fruits as well, as long as they aren't citrusy or very high in acidity. And next we are going to feed all of my snakes. So if you don't like to see snakes eating, just skip this part and don't watch it. I'm not gonna be feeding any of them live. Um, Chaos, my ball python, is still eating live, but I know that that's really sad to watch. So I'm not going to be showing him um, hunting the mouse whatsoever, so you aren't going to have to see any of that. Everyone is just going to be eating frozen thawed. And I feed all of my snakes every single week. I choose Wednesday of every week, and that's just snake feeding day. The only snake that isn't eating every single week is Bowie, my Brazilian rainbow boa, and that is because she's an adult now, and they have a slower metabolism, so I feed her once every two weeks. Bowie is in here and she's in the water bowl so I've never fed her in the water bowl but we're gonna go for it. be feeding my amphibians so I have two frogs and a salamander my pac-man frog did not want to eat for this video so unfortunately you won't be seeing him eat in this video but Janemba my pixie frog did so you will see that And now I'm gonna be feeding all of my crested and gargoyle geckos. So they are typically very private eaters and they don't like to come out whatsoever or be hand fed. So I actually fed them last night and I tried to just go into the reptile room to see if I could catch any of them eating and I was not lucky in doing so. I did see that one of them tipped their food bowl over but I will show you the footage of that now and it's kind of cool because you'll get to see a little bit of what it's like in the reptile room at nighttime. try my best with Sunny right now and hopefully she doesn't tip this over but she probably will. I clearly only have one arm so I can't really just like do this and hold a camera. So I'm gonna hope that she goes for it on her own. And here we go, we have one of them eating, yay! Go Sunny! And this is Elfie, so I'm going to try to see if she'll eat some. She knows it's in front of her, but I have a feeling she's not going to be interested. She had a couple licks, but I don't think she's too interested. And next I will be feeding my geckos. So I'm going to start off with my two leopard geckos and my African fat tail gecko. 
They are insectivores, so today I'm just going to be giving them some superworms. Mango does not seem interested in her superworm at all. So, Mango, what are you doing? I'm trying to feed you something. Do you want this? Yeah, she's totally not interested. So, Mango's not going to be eating today. She doesn't eat every single day. She's kind of picky sometimes, so I had a feeling she might not want this. So, she's just doing her own thing today which is perfectly fine because as you can see she is extremely chunky so it's not that big of a deal if she's not eating. And now I'm going to feed my turtles and just give them their feast. For these guys I feed them every few days. As I've mentioned before I do feed my turtles in containers outside of their enclosure. This just helps to keep it cleaner for them. So that way when they make a mess when they're eating, I just dump this out right away. And the rule is to feed them as much as they'll eat within 15 minutes too. So it works perfectly when you're using a little container like this. And these are all the products that I'm going to be using today. As you can see, Bubba is very thrilled about this. Um, so these are all the things that I'm going to be using. RepDeSafe I use to dechlorinate the water when I'm feeding them in these containers. And then I'm going to toss all of this food in. Are you excited? Yay! So I have put all of their food in. So now it's time to grab these guys. They are like little piglets. They are so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the turtles over here and we're gonna feed them. And I'm also just gonna give them a little bit of turnip greens today. Lulu always eats her greens, but Bubba is picky and doesn't really like them. So hopefully they'll eat them. Um, they're going to town right now on their pellets. I also like to feed them superworms and hornworms and crickets. They love their insects. And then I also feed them all of their pellets for their diet as well. And those are all of my animals. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching them eat and seeing what I feed them typically. Again, I do like to give them variety. So this isn't what I feed them every single feeding. They get different things all of the time, but this just happened to be what I was feeding them today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do want to mention that I have a ton of bookmarks that I made recently. So if any of you guys are interested in getting some reptilian bookmarks, you can check out my Etsy shop because that's where I'm selling them. I will put the link in the description. I also sell some bee pollen and like reptile prints of my animals. So just random things. Occasionally there's some jewelry as well. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. And for the bookmarks, I have like literally a ton available. Like this is, here's baby alligators. There's just so many that I have at the moment. So again, if you're interested, um, I'm selling these also on Instagram. So if you wanna pick a specific one out, just DM me on Instagram, and then I can go over which ones I still have available because as you can see, I have a lot of these. I had so much fun making them. And no, I did not draw them. People were asking me. I do not have the skills to be able to draw something like this. So these are all just cutouts from books that I found and then I just laminated them. And all of them have like a little cute quote on the back and they're all signed by me. So if you're interested, just go ahead and check it out in my Etsy or message me on Instagram if you'd like to get one for Christmas presents or whatever. And that completes my video for today. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.